Hello guys, welcome back, and today I am making an announcement. Basically, I have decided to start work on a new map. Um, the channel's been really inactive lately, I haven't made any videos in months now, and I really want that to change, I really want to make new videos, new content, and most of all just have fun making the things uh, I'm doing. So, first of all, this map is called Entrepreneur Simulator. It's basically a map where you have to... Um, uh, you know, you start off small, you start off by owning an ice cream truck, um, you make money off of that, and then you buy more buildings you, for, for, like, shoe stores and um, sports shops. Uh, I'm just trying to think of examples. Basically, the aim of the game is just to own a bunch of shops and to earn a bunch of money. Uh, yeah, I know. It's, yeah. Basically, I'm planning on having loads of fun making this, and, of course, having loads of fun watching people play this and watching people's reactions. Um, yeah, I think altogether it's going to be a fun project. Okay, so let's get right into it. Okay, so as you can see, I have made a bit of progress. Um, I have made, you know, a few, a few buildings. Um, added a few command blocks there for the reset. Uh, most importantly, this is the first. This is the first map. So if you actually take a look at the map I've got here, this is just a map of the landscape. There are currently no buildings. Um, and so far, I've worked on the sequencing for the spawning of uh, random starter buildings. Now, the starter buildings look pretty generic. They don't have much, much to them, but the actual spawning in sequence is pretty cool. So, I'm just going to activate the command block, and you'll basically see what's going on. Whoops, I missed. So, yeah, as you can see, it the, the command blocks below are spawning in a bunch of structure blocks, and then they're activating the, the whole thing. And uh, the yeah, the buildings just spawn in, so it, it's pretty it's pretty cool and it's quite quite fast. One thing is it's extremely laggy, um, as in I'm running on a server right now, which means it's gonna hold a bit of that computing power. But for single player people using people playing the map without external help, it could be quite hard for them to run the map. So I'm always working on trying to minimize the amount of lag, but right now it seems to be quite a challenge. Um, oh yeah, there was a little bug here I forgot to fix. I'll do that in a second. It's just this. Um, so yeah, the buildings will spawn in. Again, it is really laggy. I'm going to try to work on minimizing the lag, but so far this is what we have. Um, yeah, the buildings look really generic. It's meant to be like that. The city is meant to start off really boring and then grow extremely like colorful and everything uh, so yeah as you can see on the map you've got the different buildings now the buildings themselves are actually 8 by 16 by whatever amount of height um, this is I was gonna make them 16 by 16 but then I I just sort of um, I thought against that yeah I don't know why I just I just did the buildings themselves look good I'm gonna add a landscape around here obviously um, but that's in that's in the later stages. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically all I've got now. I'm gonna work on a few more things, and I'll get back to you, and I'll show you the progress when I'm finished. Okay, so basically, I was about to start. Um, I was about to start building something new, but then I realised I have got no idea what I'm doing, in the sense that I don't know what to build first. So I decided to make this. This is a project board. Um, it's basically the what I'm going to be building and when, in what order, just to create some order. So now this is obviously not completed. This thing's going to extend miles. Um, that like sideways and downwards. Um, anyway, let's just take a look at what we have. Create scoreboards. Now this is pretty simple. This is just creating all the scoreboards that are going to be necessary, like. The ones that control money, um, displayed scoreboards, obviously. Money, um, amount of shops, the day, the time, the season, shops owned, shops available, you know, all those, all those things. So I'm gonna have to be creating those right now. Then I'm gonna have to create the time system. I'm probably gonna do this with um, a minecart. Now I'm actually stealing this idea off of the time system that was used in Symburbia, the map by Jigabob. I'm gonna put a link in the description because that is a truly great map and uh, it's kind of the map that inspired me to make this. 
um, again, like a year later. Create trolley areas. Okay, this is named really badly. Um, trolley areas are basically the areas at the start that you sort of, you buy sort of trucks in and, um, you know, the, the ice cream stuff. Um, ice cream and lemonade stands that basically you're gonna, it's going to be, I don't know, maybe carpets and then there's going to be a floating sign saying press this button here to make a stand for whatever amount of money. Um, I'm going to work on that later. Uh, there's going to be models and everything, so yeah. What else? Create system for shops closing down, create tunnel for buildings, and create arm stands for buildings. Okay, this is a bit... Um, I haven't really thought about how I'm going to do this, but the main idea is that basically each and every building is going to have an armor stand allocated to it. Um, this armor stand controls when the building closes down, uh, if the building like blows up or goes abandoned. Uh, basically everything about the building. It's like a tag for the building. And each one is going to be unique, it's going to be customised. There's going to be probably be something here with a bunch of armor stands that control the entire thing. Anyway, um, I'm waffling on. What's the next one? Create plots for various different types of buildings. That's, that's going to be down here. That's literally just going to be a bunch of buildings to be used in the plots. So I'm going to create those. I'm probably not going to create them very well. I'm going to create the basic idea and then obviously I'm going to expand um, when the time comes. Now that's all I have for now. So yeah, um, I'm gonna start creating the scoreboards. Now I've got no idea how to do this. I'm gonna have to like look up some wacky YouTube video about this um, to learn. But anyway, I'll be right back when I've done that. Okay, so after a painfully long amount of time um, setting up the scoreboards, I think I finally got it working. So. Um, oh gosh, it's, the lag's really killing. Um, I think I just put a redstone block here, and oh, thank goodness, it worked. Okay, so as you can see, the scoreboard is all set up. We've got day, money, shops available, and shops owned. I might change the colours because, as you can see, shops available isn't very um, isn't very isn't very visible. Um, I might change the MBT data to make it bold, um, but I don't know, that, that might come into a later stage. Uh, so, yeah, I think, oh yeah, also I recolored um, the squares to make them look a bit more visible, just so you know which section is which, which is quite useful. Probably in the long term it's been gonna become more useful. Um, so yeah, basically that, that's that's the scoreboard. Um, I won't put strain by, by um, making the buildings, but basically you, you've you seen the entire thing. It looks quite cool. Okay, well, that that is, that's that's very good. That's very good we finished, uh, I finished this. So, okay, aside from the enormous amount of lag, thank you everyone for watching. It's been great. Um, this is episode one, we did the scoreboard and the, um, the, the starting thingy to make the buildings. Everything seems to be working fine, and um, yeah, I can't wait to get onto the new stuff because that should be really fun to make and to see. And um, and yeah, I'm always aiming for the final product. So, of course, uh, everybody, thanks for watching, and I guess I'll see you in the next episode.